Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying these off the eaten path. We have crisps and uh, tortilla chips, it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, it says, snacks for the curious. That would be me, curiouser and curiouser. They were $3.48 a bag at Walmart. These <coughs> are the veggie crisps. Because those are different than these. Yes, these are like tortilla chips. These are hummus crisps in, uh, sorry, hummus crisps in olive oil and herb. And this one's the garlic tomato beef. And, it's and they're made crisp. with real chickpeas. Both of these are. Okay. These so were, it's basically hummus compressed down to the chip. These have no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. This, these are veggie crisps. Rice, peas, black beans made with rice and real vegetables. That's disgusting. One ounce, about 15 pieces, or 130 calories, which is really good. These are made with real vegetables. How much? 15 is 130? Yeah, I read that. Same yeah. thing? Same thing for these. Okay. These are made by Rare Fair Foods in New York. New York. In New York. Okay. They don't smell or anything. They're thinner than I was expecting. Wow, that has green stuff all in it. That's how it looks. They look like those, you know those nut crisps we tried, those nut thins or whatever? They have that look about them. Remember those little thin crispy crackers? Mm. It's actually pretty good. That's good. Very salty. Mm -hmm. You would never know how to eat vegetables in No. Mm. You could put I love those, the aftertaste of them. Yeah, you could put those in a bowl if you had like people over that didn't like stuff like this and they would never know they were eating vegetables. That is really good. This is made with real vegetables, no artificial colors, no artificial reserves, no artificial flavors. It says um, it green and yellow peas, black beans, perfectly seasoned for a mouth mouth watering snacking adventure. Those are good. I'm very surprised. I'm very very surprised that I like those, but I could eat these regularly. Yes, they're crispy, but they're not too crisp. They're um, they would remind you of a softer like tortilla chip. Yeah. Uh, but they're very salty, very easy to eat, as you see. Um, I like those. Well, a lot. there's no vegetable flavor that really overpowers it. It's really just a, more of a of a crisp chip. Yeah, I do not like black beans. And yeah, they're so. Those scant. they don't have any black bean flavor at all. They're really good, actually. All right. So these are the hummus crisp. Olive oil and herb flavored, made with real chickpeas. No artificial flavors, colors, preserves. That's um, all the same, I think. Um, they're 130 for 15, both of these are. Um, Mediterranean expired journey, uh, made with real chickpeas, seasoned with oregano and thyme for mouthwatering snacking and vinegar. Now these do have a little bit of a smell, not bad, but just a Okay, so these look like your typical tortilla chip, honestly. Except they're puffy instead of a corn Ooh, chip. That's. Those have a little bit of a smell. But I like it. So bad. Mm, I like that smell. That's not bad. That's that oregano and mm -hmm. basil. Those are so good. I like these better than the veggie crisps. I like the veggie ones better. Although these these have a different flavor. Mm -hmm. you, know? you get the olive oil. Just like a rosemary or something in there. Mm. Chickpeas, rice, sunflower oil, basil, oregano, and thyme. Mm -hmm. Onion powder, garlic powder. Mix something. Um, those are good. They have a little bit of a of a kind of like an Italian spice flavor to them. They do. It's yeah. It's like it's kind of like Italian. Yeah. Those are actually actually delicious. So far, I've been quite pleased. Mm -hmm. All right, these are the hummus chips again. Yeah, because um, we saw these at Walmart. We were like, hmm, is that you know, is that really something that we would like? This is garlic tomato beef. These are the ones I'm looking forward to the most, just because I like tomato and garlic. And these are a little darker than the other ones, but they're still... No, a little bit of a red tint. Mm. Mm. 
You get that tomato. I was gonna say, I get the tomato. That, you get that sharp um, acidity of the tomato in there. Yes, you do. Mm. I like this quite a bit. My favorite is between and the garlic. The you olive oil, the garlic. olive oil, herb, and the veggie chips. I, those I could eat equally all the time. The tomato ones are okay. I wouldn't choose to go to those all the time, but they're, they are good. They have really good flavor to them. I'm surprised because, like I said, I was looking forward to the tomato the most. And somebody has to come in last, and yeah. those came in last. The tomato ones? Yes. I, I still like them. I mean, they won't yeah. go to waste or anything. Um, There's uh, five grams of total fat, um, but only 0.5 grams of that is saturated fat um, and zero trans fats. So that's good. I no would, cholesterol, 210 milligrams of sodium, which is a little, that's not too bad, I guess. I wonder what the, how much sodium these have because these are salty. But I like three it. grams of protein. 140. Yeah, that's less than these. <laughs> well, my favorite were the olive oil and herb, the yeah. hummus crisps, and then second, I like the veggie. And then the last was the And you know that if the Duns are saying they like some veggie crisps, then they don't taste like no. vegetables at all. Um, these <laughs> two are really, they're so close to me. I could eat either one of them. They're really just tied, and this would be like a second. Mm -hmm. for me. Right. I could eat either one of those anytime. Give me either one of those and I could eat them. So don't let the name scare you off mm -hmm. because they They're really, really, good. really are good. So we will be like divvying these out and putting them in snack bags uh, because you'd be very tempted to eat uh, half the bag of these and it would be very easy. So um, I will take a picture of these close up for you and have it at the end and thanks for watching.